this is your will. And he made it very clear to me the other week through a Bible study. But when we were there, we took medicine with us to these shoe distributions because we knew we would see burns, we would see bacterial infection, worm infestations. We bought out an entire pharmacy. And their pharmacies aren't like CVS here, but we bought almost everything this pharmacy had. We were out of medicine the first day because of all the disease and infections that these people are just ate up with. So that made it clear that there is a need here. Another need, I was doing some studying about Uganda itself. 90% of the children under five years old die. Nine out of 10 children die before they reach age five because there is no medical treatment there. So God has laid it on our heart to run a free clinic. We're going to set up at all six of our schools, and we're going to just offer free medical care to these people. The amazing thing about medicine in Moyo is we can get it in abundance. When we went on uh, with the shoes, we were able to treat 15 people with a full prescription of z pack for a dollar fifty. Ten cents a person can give them a life-saving antibiotic. Another example is there was a little girl who was bitten by a cobra, and her parents didn't have medicine, or you know, they didn't have any money. They take her to the hospital. The hospital over in Moyo, it's so sad, they don't have any medicine there. You go there basically to die. And they take the little girl there and they say, you know, we don't have, we don't have anything. If you can get it, we'll give it to her, but you know, we don't have any money, no medicine here. So one of our employees was actually there and he heard this conversation and he said, well, what, what do you guys need? They said, we need the anti-venom for the cobra bite. Well, he goes, he takes the money donated to Amy for Africa. He goes and buys this anti-venom, brings it back to the hospital. They give it to her. That little girl's alive today. But guess how much that anti-venom cost? A dollar and 25. A dollar and 25 cents saved that little girl's life. And now she has the opportunity to come know Jesus as her Savior. So, you know, God is still in the business of taking a little bit and meeting thousands of needs. And we see it every day in Africa. And we are praying that God will provide abundantly for these medicines because we expect to see anywhere from three to 6,000 people a day when we set up this clinic. Once the word gets around, I'm telling you, they're gonna come out of the woodwork um, because this is a rarity for them. And we wanna help these children. We want them to thrive. We want them to come to know the Lord as their savior, most importantly. We want them to know that we love them. God loves them and he cares. You know, Jesus went around preaching the word and healing the sick. And that is what we feel like we are called to do in our own way. Um, but I thank you guys for, for being with us. Please continue.